We've had a fantastic term one here at MLC. We started our year with our annual community welcome day for new students and their families, which included a special breakfast for new girls with collegian connections to MLC. It's always a highlight to be with our collegian community to share stories with their daughters, granddaughters and nieces, especially as they begin their MLC journey together. At our welcome assembly for all students, I announced my 2024 theme, Influence for Impact. I invited our students to consider what impact do you hope to have at MLC and beyond and how will we influence it together? This theme continues to be a driving focus for the year and one that will help us continue to empower our thriving community here at MLC. The Year 7 Orientation Week was once again a highlight for Term 1, enabling our new secondary schoolers time to get to know each other and form those crucial bonds as a cohort. New starts abound in Term 1 and our Class of 2023 returned to MLC for an assembly and morning tea, sharing news of their adventures and catching up on what they've been up to since leaving the college. Of course our boarders were also welcomed in true MLC style, enjoying their carnival weekend which included a silent disco, a slip and slide and self-defence class. It was the term for swimming at MLC, diving straight in with our Years 7 to 12 Interhouse Swimming Carnival in Week 3. Congratulations to Corinth House for winning the overall trophy and the Spirit Cape. Our Years 4 to 6 students made a splash at their Interhouse Swimming Carnival too, with Rome winning the overall trophy and Olympia winning the Spirit Hat. MLC was the proud host of the IGSA Swimming Carnival this term, placing fourth overall. Well done to all our swimmers for your competitive spirit and teamwork. More than 600 community members joined us for our annual Sunset on the Green Sundowner. Thank you to our dedicated staff for organising this event and to our parents and caregivers for joining us. At MLC we have an amazing outdoor and environmental education program with our Year 6s and 8s heading off on adventures in Margaret River and Walpole. Both year groups had a wonderful time as their relationship with the outdoors strengthened. After an extended break due to COVID, our music camp resumed this term. This was the perfect opportunity for our ensembles to rehearse with our talented staff and guest tutors in a different setting, sharing their love for music making. Following the term break, our efforts turned to hosting the State Da Vinci Decathlon. This was MLC's third year as the WA Chapter Host School, with UWA's stunning Winthrop Hall as our chosen venue. In teams of eight, our Year's 5 to 10 students competed in 10 disciplines across each day. Congratulations to everyone involved in making the decathlon such a success. For the first time ever, MLC held an International Women's Day event on campus, which included a networking breakfast and panel discussion. Our five inspiring MLC collegians, each leaders in their respective fields, captivated the attention of our audience, calling us to action in our collective ambition to accelerate progress and influence for impact. How fortunate we are to have such incredible leaders within our community. Off campus, members of the MLC team enjoyed connecting with collegians, current families and prospective students at the annual wage in Woolarama. A big thank you to everyone who stopped by our stand to say hello. We always look forward to our regional visits and visiting the places our boarders call home. During service week, our service prefects led the charge to raise funds for the incredible charity One Girl. Students and staff donned their best pink accessories on the Wednesday and the annual hair chop took place on the Friday with much joy and laughter emboldening the spirit of support across the campus. Our junior year's families celebrated the start of the school year at the annual Barclay Picnic Festival of Fun. From face painting and fairy floss to a petting zoo and bouncy castle, it was smiles all round. A big thank you to the parents of MLC and our boarders for volunteering on the night. Innovation was at the forefront of Week 8 as our Year 10s participated in the Industry Innovators Challenge. Our girls developed and applied their innovation, design thinking, 
entrepreneurship and interpersonal skills as they created start-up businesses to address challenges across eight industries. Then, to celebrate the commencement of the 2024 rowing season, our community came together for a sundowner to christen the Bronwyn Cox and Doran family boats into our fleet. Winning the Head of the River in 1994, 2004 and 2014, will our newly named fleet propel us to new heights this year? With Easter upon us, we're reminded of the hope and joy that is encapsulated within the Easter message, one that we see lived out every day here at MLC. Have a restful break and safe travels, especially to our students and staff who are heading off on MLC's New Zealand sports tour. See you all in term two.